The holiday weekend is still a few days away, but this 4th of July celebrating is going to cost more. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright tells you how inflation is impacting fireworks and where you can and cannot set them off. Here at Wholesale Fireworks in Boothwin, the managing operator says customers are going to be paying 10 to 15 percent more for fireworks this year compared to last year. Customers are getting ready to celebrate July 4th. I usually buy five to seven hundred dollars worth of fireworks. <laughs> but this year, amid inflation and supply chain difficulties, the cost of fireworks is soaring. They've gone up probably in the neighborhood of 10 to 15 percent this year over last year's increase, which is probably another 10 percent. So in the last couple of years, you're probably talking about 25 percent. At this store, Excalibur artillery shells are popular, but whether you can even use fireworks varies by state. In Pennsylvania, Class C fireworks like firecrackers, Roman candles, and bottle rockets are legal, but they can't be used within 150 feet of an occupied structure. Each municipality may have its own restrictions. Some of those larger display fireworks do require a permit to be issued from your municipality. In New Jersey and Delaware, the law is stricter. Sparklers and ground-based items are allowed, but firecrackers and fireworks that explode in the sky are illegal, apart from professional displays. Anytime you're dealing with an explosive or anytime you're dealing with powder, there's always an inherent danger in it. Law enforcement recommends leaving fireworks to the professionals, but those who plan to create their own show tell me they're not letting the higher prices dim their celebration. Inflation kind of plays, you know, a backseat to the memories you can make by the kids' reactions by seeing, you know, the fireworks go up. Even though the store is charging customers more for fireworks, the managing operator is optimistic for another successful season. In Boothwin, Madeline Wright, CBS3 Eyewitness News.